Welcome back to another quick tutorial. Um, we're sticking on the low poly theme here and we're going to learn how to do just a quick low poly uh, 3D model. In this case we're going to use the bird um, that I've already put into my top uh, viewport here um, just by going to um, options and configure um, and in the back panel I've just added a screenshot I took of the bird. So we're going to model on top of that and I'm going to start off by grabbing a loft and then we're just going to use, we're going to, it doesn't really matter what this is for right now and then we're going to find ourselves an end side and we need to make sure that we've got this thing positioned so we can kind of run down the uh, back of the bird here and I'm screwing it up every single time. Okay, got it. Um, and then what we want to do is get this into position and put that underneath the loft. So all we're gonna do, we just we've done this once before, is I'm first gonna just get my I'm gonna give it a snap in there. Get my guy into position here. And then by holding down command or the Windows key, you're just gonna drag it out, extrude it out, and be able to create yourself a uh, start your way on 3D modeling and I might speed this up while we do this so hang tight And so now we've gotten to the body part of the bird here, and all we're going to do is we're just going to go right through that for now. So I'm going to keep going. Okay. So I just finished doing the wing section here and if you'll notice from the top view here or from the perspective view it just kinda looks like a worm right now but we're, all, we're gonna get back to that and make that look better in a second um, so I'm just gonna get rid of this for now okay so what we're gonna do now is just create another loft I'm gonna actually turn this off so same process loft grab the inside and then we're gonna put make this X Y and then we're gonna drop that under and we're just gonna go do the body now of the bird and same process just dropping this into place in this case we'll start at the top of the head from perfect here and I've basically just created now this little rocket looking thing like something we've similarly done before um, and so when we put it all together this is what we're looking at here and it's it's slowly taking the shape of a bird but there's a lot of things that we can do to update this so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the wings and I'm gonna turn this off and I'm gonna select my children and connect all these objects and delete. But you'll notice you get that mistake. What I should have done before I did that is make my loft editable and then select my children and now we'll be good to go. So I swear I was only showing that you that because I wanted to show you the mistake. Just kidding. So. What I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to just kind of flatten our wings. And now we're looking much, much more bird-like on that profile. And then let's turn back on our bird body. And we're going to do the same thing. Editable. Select children. Connect and delete. And let's flatten it out a little bit. But we're going to leave that bird body the way we want and then we might have to do some special stuff here where we 
come into the top and I'm not I'm gonna deselect only select visible and I'm just gonna grab this whole section and I'm gonna flatten it you notice I get a little bit of a issue there with some of the surrounding stuff So what I need to do is take the whole thing and really flatten it to something of that magnitude. And then I'm going to go back into my bird body here and go for the whole body. And leave it right there and kind of pump this thing back up. So now we're looking a lot better because that's a part of the bird that's really not that important right now. If we were going to do a better job, I would do a better job on that section. But for right now, good enough. Okay, so we can take this one step further and it's again a little bit messy, but we're just going to select both of these. And we're just going to connect and delete. Now I've got one uniform object here. Now that we're ready to take this to the next level, get rid of this fong tag. And then what we're going to do to give it a little bit more of a low poly look is we're actually going to hold shift down and go into the polygon reduction. Oops. Polygon reduction tool. And you'll notice that we've already got this reduced look going on. So we can really get it up to the look we want. So I really like the way it's looking at about 98 percent. 97, 98. Pretty good. Um, there we go. Alright. Go in here. Let's grab our beak melt it and then we're gonna just we're gonna make a little beak And boom, there's our bird with our beak. Um, and sorry, I don't know what happened there. So there's our bird with our beak, looking pretty good. Um, I think the only next step here would be to go through and do the character. Um, and maybe I'll do another tutorial that shows you how to take the character tool. Um, thanks for watching that quick tutorial. Hope to have you back again soon.